In this video, I want to show you step by step how to create this pop up filter for your WooCommerce website. If you have quite a lot of products on your website, it makes it easier for your visitors to search through all your products based on these options. Our customers can filter through our products using several ways. They can filter by searching for the product name. Over here, they can just enter a few letters of the product and they will start showing over here. We can also filter through categories. So as you can see, we have categories here with the products in them so if you want to see just the home deco you can just come over here click here and they will display here now what's even more exciting is we can also filter by price so if we drag the slider down it will filter down according to the price range we can also filter by color by category over here and also we can filter by image over here on the bottom, we also have an option to filter by size and rating. But just bear in mind that with the rating, you need to have customers that have rated the products for them to show up over here. Hi, my name is Mac from the Plus Add-ons for Elementor team. Every week we produce WordPress tutorials, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to be a professional designer. Let's dive in and let me show you how to get started. So to get started, we're just going to use our basic Elemental plugin. Now, this one here is absolutely free. You do not need to use the Pro version. Okay, so next we're going to need our Plus add-ons for Elemental Pro. This is what has all the uh, features that we need to achieve our design. All right, so I've gone ahead and installed the Plus add-ons. So it's right here. I'm going to click here so that we can go to our main dashboard. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and activate all the features that we need. So I'm gonna come over here to my plus widgets. So the first one I'm going to need is the filters. So I'm gonna search for it here. So here it is, it's called WP search filters. Let's make sure that we activate this. Next, we're going to need our product listing. So I'm just gonna search for listing. And here it is, the product listing. I'm gonna activate it. Next, we're going to need our pop-up builder. Again, I'm gonna search for it and here it is. I'm gonna activate it, hit save. Now we need to go to our extra options. So we're gonna scroll all the way down here until we get to our WooCommerce swatches. I'm gonna activate that and click on save changes. So what we've done ahead of time is we've gone ahead and added all our products. So let me show you where they are. So here we have WooCommerce, if I click on products, this will now show all our products on our website. So if I go into one of these products here by clicking on edit, you can see all the information that we've added about the product. So here we have the product name. And then when I scroll down here, we also have the price. And for this particular one, it's on sale. And then over here, we also have the attributes. So let me show you how you can add your own attributes on your products. So to do that, you wanna come over here to attributes. So this is going to relate to whatever it is that you sell on your website. So over here, you can see we've created brand, color, and size ahead of time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a brand new one and we're gonna call this texture. Next, I'm gonna click here on the type. So this is where you can select what type of attribute it is. So it can be based by color, image, or button. So I'm gonna go with image and then click on add attribute. So that is how easy it is to create your attribute. And then over here, I can click on configure items. So this now gives me the ability to go in and start adding all the items that pertain to my attribute. So here, I'm gonna say this one here is marble as our texture. I can give a description if I need it here, but I'm not gonna waste time on that. Next, I'm gonna click on upload image. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded uh, some images. So I'm gonna just go to my downloads folder here and find my images. Okay, so I'm gonna choose my first image here. Click on use image, add new texture. I'm gonna add my next one. And this one here is stone. Again, I'm going to come over here and add my image, use image, and then add new texture. So with my attributes now added, that means that when I go to my product, I will be able to assign an attribute to my product. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I'm gonna come back over here to all my products, 
And let's say I come over here to this one, click on edit, scroll all the way down here, and then click on attributes. So if I click here on this drop down, you're going to notice now we have texture. So if I select that, click on add, and now you can see we have stone and marble. So that means when I come now on my website, on the pop-up, I can actually see my uh, attributes and I can search based on my attributes as well. Now, Plus Add-ons has many, many more features. We also have variations, we have swatches. So I will leave a link to uh, this uh, page here so you can see all the extra options that we have with our products. So for example, if I were to come over here and uh, take a look at swatches, you can see that this goes into detail and here we, can, we also have patterns. So we can add all these attributes. So your shop is going to be full of features, making it easy for your customers to choose whatever it is they want to choose as they purchase the product. Okay, so now let's build our shop page and also include this pop-up on our website. Okay, so what I've done ahead of time is I've got this basic page here that I've created. Now, Plus Add-ons has a really, really amazing uh, feature, which is called Copy and Paste. This Copy and Paste feature can be used to copy a layout between different websites. As you can see, when I hover over here, you're going to notice that I have this copy. I can actually copy the layout of this shop page and just paste the layout on my actual website. So as you can see here, my domain here is totally different. This is our Plus Add-ons website. So now here on my uh, site, I can right click and then click on Plus Paste. So this is not your normal Elementor copy and paste. This is our Add-ons Plus Paste. So you can see here, my products have been added. Now there's also one more thing that I need to copy and paste, and that is the filter itself on the top here. So again, when I hover over it, you can see that I have the option to copy. So I'm gonna copy and then come back over here to my site and paste in here. So I'm gonna click on plus paste. Okay, so now that it's been updated, this is looking great. I can also add an icon here by clicking on this little pencil icon and I can choose my icon over here. So I'm gonna click here and search for my filter icon. And here it is, I'm gonna insert it. Okay, so the next step now is to create our pop-up. So what we need to do is to head over here to Elementor and go to our templates. So here we want to create a brand new template. So I'm gonna click on add new. And then over here, I can give this a name, but first of all, we need to choose what type of template it is. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down here and choose a section. Next here, we're going to name our pop-up. So I'm just gonna call this a Mac pop-up for now but of course you can name it whatever you want. Next, I'm gonna click on create template because later on I'm going to uh, connect this template to our widget so that it pops up from the left. Okay, so this is loading up now. So at the moment here, it's going to give me options to choose from these blocks. I'm not interested in that. I'm just gonna close that and uh, just go and build mine from scratch. But what we're going to do as well is we are now going to use a copy and paste feature that we have here. So if I click here to open, you notice that uh, if I hover over here, I also have the copy feature. So I'm just gonna copy here, come back on my site here. In fact, this is where we need to go. So I'm gonna click and add my layout here. And then I'm just gonna paste like that. Okay, so now I've pasted my uh, pop-up. All I have to do now is to just uh, delete uh, this section that I've added here on the top because we don't need that. So when I click once on this, you're going to notice that this is our WP filters. Now this has amazing features. So first of all, you can see this in the order here is the order that we have on the left. So when I click here on search, you're going to notice that our filter type here is the WP filter and our select source is our search input, which means here, we are going to type our information in order for us to search for our item. Here we also have a search type, which is taxonomy. 
And we also have our placeholder text. Now, this is just uh, the text that we have here. So you notice that if I just get rid of the word product, this is going to update and it's just going to leave the word search just like that. Okay, so that's our search. Next, we have our alphabet here. So if I click here on alphabet, you can see again, our search filter type is WP filter. And over here, we have our alphabet and also our alphabet type. So here on the type, we've got A to Z, and we also have 0 to 9, which means when our customers come on our website, they can use the actual letters and also use uh, this as well. Okay, let's move on to the next one, and these are our category tabs. So again, our filter type is our WP filter, and here we have our tabbing filter. Uh, we also have our taxonomy here, set to taxonomy for our select type. And then over here, we have our uh, select taxonomy okay so this is uh, based on our product category which is great and this is the category okay now moving on we also have our price so as you can see here our price is based on our zero and one thousand so here if you have products that cost more than a thousand you can just add it here so let's say uh, our maximum uh, price here is nine thousand for our products we can just add 9,000 here and this is going to update. And as you can see now, it has been updated. So that means you can drag it here until you find your range that you are looking for. Here we also have our price symbol. So this can depend on where you are. So let's say you are in the UK, you can add your pound sign. Okay, if you are in America, you can add your uh, dollar sign just like that. Okay, let's move on to the next item. And here we have our color. Now, our colors here are going to be based on our attributes that we would have entered on our system, okay? So, I've really showed you how to enter your attributes so that um, if you can just go back to that and take a look at that. So, here you can see here that this is our product attributes, as you can see. Now, here we can also add different um, attributes. So, here we have selected color, but we can also choose our brand and also texture. Now remember, I created my texture attribute, so we can actually select it here if we want to use this as our search item. So in your case, you are going to have your own attributes that are going to show over here based on your product. And as you can see here, we also have category, we also have uh, image, so this could be based on image, and here we have our brand images. We also have our size attribute here as well, so again, you can see here that our product attribute is selected and my attribute here is set to size. So you can actually show all your attributes over here. And then finally, we also have our rating. Okay, so what we're going to do for now is we're just going to hit publish. Okay, so now let's move on to the next step. So I'm going to come over here. So our filter at the moment is not connected to anything. So if I click here, you're going to notice that this now is set to pop-up type and this is slide okay this is very important that it's set to slide and our open direction is set to left which means it's coming from the left coming in okay our size just leave it at a default of 500 so remember we created our template so here you need to make sure that your content type needs to be set to template okay and this is the template that we've just created so here you can see it's set to a mac pop-up so if i come back over here if I click on this drop down, I'll be able to find my pop up that I've just created. And this is it right here. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click on update. So if I now come to my shop page and I click here on this filter, notice what happens. My pop up is now showing and it has all the information that I just went through our search, our alphabet, and so on. So let's test and see if this is working. So I'm going to uh, choose and notice that we have our 9,000 that I added. So let's drill down and see what happens here. So I know I've chosen a crazy range and this is now saying products not found, which means that is great. I'm going to reset all and now let's go back again. And this time I want to put a reasonable range. Okay, so you're going to bring it down. And notice now all my products are showing. So every time I need to do a filter, I need to reset all because otherwise it will keep the previous value. Okay, so let's come over here and uh, let's type N and see what shows up. I'm sure Nike is going to show up. And sure enough, Nike is showing up, including um, other products here that starts with N. And this is the next t-shirt and also the woolen hat.
So this is how you create your pop-up. And also we have uh, other values there th that we can use. Uh, which are, if I click on this drop down, this can also show by top sales, on sale, featured products, and so on. So if you go to your products and you set them to featured, and then you search by featured, they are now going to show on the um, listing results here. So this is very, very powerful. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Till next time, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.